Hey guys, Dante here and welcome back to The Artist Eye, where we try to view the world just a little differently. This is episode seven and a half. It's kind of a filler right now until I finish up the editing for episode eight, which is going to be the big one, of course. So the other day I sat down and I said to myself, you know what, I have a lot of cool stuff in my house. What I don't have is a laser gun. So I decided to go and make a stylized laser gun. What kind? Well, I've done steampunk before, so why, why not try a more retro laser gun? So I'm thinking 1950s, 1940s, where everything was imagined to be sleek and silver and have fins, all in the future. A future we don't have, but still a cool design. So I dug deep into the box old junk, and I found this. So that was a Nerf Rebel gun, a girl-oriented Nerf gun. Either way, it's a Nerf gun. It's small, compact, and I figured I'll go with it. I'll go with a small, compact laser gun. So what do I need now? Well, I need something round, satellite dish-shaped, tubing, fins. So I dug once again deep into the box of junk, and I found a few old standards. The large size Easter eggs, which always come handy. And these small uh, plastic containers, really cheap. They kind of have a satellite dish kind of feel to them when you look at them. I also came across this, by the way. A giant, eh, somewhat giant axe, a kind of war axe. It's a Halloween prop. Has um, these cool curving patterns. Once again, large fins. I figure this comes in handy. And of course, you can't have a Nerf gun without the different kind of Nerf darts, suction cups, round tips, you name it. So I put them all together, got some hot glue to hold them all together, and came out with this. A 1950s styled sci-fi gun. Googly eyes make up for the cool rivets. There's that fin I mentioned. Some epoxy clay, once again, the epoxy clay holds up as metal beaming. Uh, the round orb on the bottom is actually just a ping pong ball I cut in half and put around the ring. And a little satellite dish antenna. It has that look and feel that I was really look, you know, trying to aim for. Good for short films. This is a one day build. Made it in one day. Uh, two days if you count a second coat of spray paint. But the cool thing is this antenna is the Nerf dart. Or two of them in fact held together by a wooden stick in the center and given a coat of um, Plasti Dip and then spray paint. Plasti Dip the foam first or else the spray paint comes right off. With that said, you put it inside, you can still cock it back and it still fires. That was what I was aiming for. I wanted a working prop. So imagine if you would, ah, you take a regular Nerf dart and you paint it green. Let's say you make it that uh, uh, green as in green screen kind of green. So when the action goes down in a scene where your actors are running around, shooting aliens, fighting back, he then aims his gun and then zap. You can edit a laser beam or even edit just lightning shooting out of it if you don't want to shoot the prop. But that's that. One day build made from found objects around the house around thrift stores, or in my case, in my mystical box of junk. Just wanted to show this off. Hope you guys like it. As always, subscribe, like the video, and give me commentary. Tell me what you want me to build next using found objects, and I'll show you how I built it. I'm sorry this isn't as in-depth as my normal videos, but once again, it is kind of like a filler right now. By the way, I want to give a shout-out to Broken Real Pro on YouTube.com. So Broken Wheel Pro, you might know him as the guy behind the scenes for Channel Awesome, formerly That Guy with the Glasses. I love his work. He embodies what I try to show here. He makes cheap props but that are effective. So go to his YouTube channel, show him some love, and send him notes on YouTube. Tell him to put more videos up. I, I would love to see more myself. Once again, guys, I am Dante. This has been The Artist Eye. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Later.